What's going on, everybody? Welcome to release 0.5 of Miracle WM. Um, super proud of this release. It's about three months in the making. We got a lot of cool new features, so I guess let's jump right into it. So, first up, we got drag and drop containers with the pointer. So, I will show you that right now. I have a bunch of tiles in my grid here, and what I could do now is do meta shift left click. And we can start dragging them around. You could drag them up here, drag it here, drag it here, and it'll get resized how you think it would be. And if you let go, it kind of animates back to its position, and then you could drag it back here and then here. Um, so that's all working very nicely. It's a cool new feature to have, I think. Um, I found it pretty useful so far. And yeah, that is the first thing you'll see up in the top left corner here, if I drag all the way up here you'll see that we entered the dragging state while this happened. So neat little quality of life feature. It took a lot of a lot of refactoring to get this working. So I'm super proud of it. And you can drag all around and nothing really breaks. So the next new feature is something I basically re-added, but I had to rip a lot of code out. I probably ripped out like 5,000 lines of code last release. Um, but I re-added moving the ability to move windows. So if you hold the meta key or whatever your action key is, left click, you could drag it around like you could before. So it's pretty standard. It was pretty much like this before, but I'm calling it a new feature because I refactored all that stuff out, threw it all in the garbage and rebuilt it all from scratch. So we're back here with this. So next up is what I like to call floating mini trees because um, I don't have a better name for it. If you think of a better name other than mini trees, let me know. So I'm gonna switch over to workspace three over here. I have a um, terminal open it's taking up the full grid right that's just in the grid like normal um, if I float it using meta shift space for me and then I'll actually shrink it down by a bit so just so you could see oh sorry I'm shrinking it up just so you could see what's going on here so I have this and right now it's just a floating little thing floating window like before but because of all these wild refactors that I've done I have sort of extended the metaphor of the tiling window tree to now include floating windows. So I think the best way to see this is if I float that back, drag this over here, maybe make this a little smaller. So you'll see this is floating above the grid. This is still the grid like usual, but now, but now, but wait, I can meta enter and then let's just do that. And now I have this grid that behaves just like a floating window, except it's a grid of applications that exist above the main tiling grid. Um, and you can move it. Eventually you'll be able to resize it like a regular grid. I didn't add that yet, but you'll see it resizes independently of the other grid. Um, and then for example, if I want to, I could float one of these back into the main grid using the, the typical float keybind, and I could even float all of it back. So. I think this is really neat. I think this unlocks a lot of cool functionality. There's a little bit more of the metaphor that I need to extend there and maybe provide some visual elements like a background and stuff, but this is the core of the idea. And it took a lot of, again, so much refactoring, um, but I was able in the end to reuse a lot of code. So I'm super happy with it and it's super cool and useful. All right, moving on to more IPC stuff. Um, for those of you familiar with i3 and Sway, I guess by extension, I now support command criteria. So I'm gonna switch over to workspace four over here where I have Emacs and a terminal open. Um, and maybe I should make this bigger just so you can see what's going on. But now you can use miracle message or Sway message or whatever. You can do things like focusing the a certain PID, right? So I know the PID of Firefox over here is 10689. And if I click this, boom, Firefox gets, I mean, sorry, Emacs gets focused. So um, there's a couple other things, uh, a couple other command criteria that you could take a look at there. It's all in the IP, i3 IPCs, which, what do you call it? The manual or whatever. Um, I don't support everything because there's a lot of X11 stuff that I, frankly, I just don't think we need to have access to anymore. And I'm sort of ignoring those things. So. If you find them super useful for your workflow, let me know and I could try to incorporate them in or maybe retrofit them for Wayland, but I'm mostly ignoring those. But anyway, if you want to do these cool command criteria selections, they should now be available across every 
um, every action, not just focus. So take a look at that if you use that. All right, so these last two ones, these last two features are tied together. Um, the first are closing animations. I didn't have a good way to do this for the longest time, but I finally figured out a way to do it, and I'm super happy about it. It probably might take a little bit of um, tweaking later on, but it's looking pretty good so far. Um, but because I'm not supporting closing animations, I needed closing animations. So I implemented a fade in and fade out animation. So these are kind of together. So if I switch to workspace five here, um, you'll see I have a terminal up and if I quit it, boom, ooh, it fades. That's cool. And it fades in, fades out. Um, I'm going to add in the next release more ways to support more cool animations in the future, but that's pretty cool for now. It's pretty pleasant and yeah, that was a long time coming. A lot to figure out there, but it's really pushing Mirror to its limits. So on top of all this, I fixed a ton of bugs. Just a ton of bugs. The first thing, probably the most important thing, is that full screen windows, whoa, they do what you'd expect them to do and not appear behind the panels. That's fun. Um, so, you know, before they were kind of hidden behind, <laughs> behind Waybar, um, but now they're back. So the next thing here is I was allowing people to minimize and maximize windows beforehand. No, I just don't let them do it at all. So if I hop over here again, you'll see I can't minimize or maximize and max. It just doesn't make sense in a tiling grid. Basically, you can only be full screened or tiled. Um, outputs, unplug, replug, everything was broken and terrible and we were segfaulting all over the place. That's no longer broken or terrible. Um, I also did a lot of work to improve animation smoothness. You should just see this by using it and hopefully it looks smoother. Another easy thing is the object lifetime. I just wasn't, for the longest time, I was just passing wild objects wildly, you know, just regular references, constant references, just people were having references to too much. So now I'm actually kind of using all of the, you know, regular C++ shared pointer, unique pointer, memory management stuff. And it's a lot better. And you can be confident that you're not dereferencing an old pointer pretty much at any point in time which just gets rid of a whole class of errors that I was having. The next thing is test coverage. I think we're up to almost 200 tests now, which is good. Basically, we had like maybe 100 X is wrong. Maybe it was like 50 X. But anyway, we had like almost no tests last time I was doing this. Um, and now we have almost 200 and more and more every day. So that took a lot of refactoring the code base to get working. And I'm super happy with it now. And like I said, also simplified the code base dramatically. Probably removed like 10,000 lines at the start of this. And probably the last big bug is X11 app flickering issues when you're switching workspaces. You'll no longer see those anymore. So that's all for this update. As always, head over to the website to see everything that you want to see. Um, new builds will be out really soon across uh, the dev, the snap, and the Fedora release, and then Everybody else can go build it themselves, but those are the three I'm in charge of. Um, so yeah, check it out, and I hope you have a really awesome day. Take care.